what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be fitting some, we're, going to, we're, we're being a bit of a riser here today, we're going to be fitting some fake rims to my, or some new dust caps basically, to my Nissan Micra. Now, you can see, the ones on here, they're, they're just a bit, you know, they look horrible and, you know, rusty and they've just gone all curved and everything. So, I'm going to put some nice new ones on today. They look a bit like rims, but they're actually not. I'm not sure if this makes me a ricer or not, but I mean, I guess people people rock replica wheels, so you know, I guess I guess people can actually tell that these are not actual real rims. So I guess it isn't rice at the same time. So, but I just thought I'd put some of these on there because it would make the car look a lot more cooler and just. It would be like a little placeholder until I can actually get some rims for it, so, yeah. So, I've never actually taken these off before. I think it's a very basic, it's actually, probably not basic, it's actually raiding, but it actually feels, sorry, it's fired. But yeah, it actually feels quite nice being out in the rain because it was I was working out in the sun all day, so, yeah. Okay, so that was a real fight to get off, as you can see. Um, so in the end, um, you know, I think if you're, you always have like, I don't know, bigger bits so you can put your hands through, it would be easier to do it by hand. If you want to do it by hand without damaging it, you can. But this wheel is, this wheel trim's already damaged, so we're just going to bring out the new one from the box. So yeah, we're gonna see how this all goes together. So whether that fucking snapped or not, whether well, this is terribly welded, that is absolutely terrible. But I don't know what this bit is for. I imagine this is bit that clips it in. I don't know whether that's meant to be on something. I don't know, but it, it just seemed to fit fine. So yeah, hopefully it just does not fall off with that crack in there. I mean, it looks like it's all welded and pieced together. So yeah. So yeah, for anyone wondering how this goes on after you've done all that, literally just stick and clip it. It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, so I figured out why I did that wrong. So yeah, you're not actually meant to put them on the outside. I think you're meant to put them on the inside, whether that's for the back ones or not. I don't know, I, can, I will confirm with you in the video, but you want to actually tuck them behind there in these tabs, at least for this car. Maybe for other cars you need to do that. But I think that's just so that all fits in, but yeah, I make a stupid challenge out of everything. So yeah, this is the last one, it's not fully clipped, oh for God's sake. But yeah, goes in like that, in between there, and there for all of the sides. So that's both the rear ones and the front ones, so yeah, I don't know how I got modelled up on that, but there's also a little hole right here you to fit your little um, pump thing, so whatever you call it, your valve, pop air in, but yeah, you just make sure like that's over that, so you know, you can easily pump it up, I guess, right, so it doesn't really matter, so just you want to do that, you want to press it on, it's just very fiddly sometimes, not gathered, Sometimes it just does not want to go in. There we go. Oh, that's a bit off like that. I want to get the that in. So you just want to fully press it in. Yep, that's all in. That's just make sure it's all clipped in. We're gonna just test out that on all of the sides. But yeah, that is on there. That's not gonna come off, I don't think at least. So yeah, these are basically the old ones. Whether these will be going on Facebook Marketplace or I'm gonna keep them in there a bit damaged, but just put them on there for free. Maybe someone would want them. I don't know. Who knows? 
maybe someone could use them for a project of some sort or maybe they have a micro and they just want the stock ones back on or maybe they just want to use it to create something with i don't know I mean, they are dirty so they would need a clean no oh, this is how these are very mucky not hands are absolutely filthy but Plus, on camera, they actually do look real. Um, but when you come up to them on per or in person, you can see they're definitely not real. But yeah, you can sort of see all the holes in there. And they also just bulge out a bit. Um, obviously, that does suck a bit, they do bulge out a bit. But, well, not obviously, but it does suck for me. But I think they have to design them like that because Steedies are in out, come out like that, so... I guess they sort of have to be like that to fit most of the steelies but yeah I mean other than that they don't look too bad if you look at them from sideways from the front they look a bit odd because of that and they're not con I wish I could have concaved in ones instead but they don't look bad they don't look bad they look good for photos and stuff and they're just a lot better than the the um, old ones that seem to be on their way so that's why I didn't bother cleaning them uh, but yeah these are, some, these are old so these are new Fuck up, that boy a bimbo Getting low, they playing limbo Tried to slice me, I went Kimbo Op hoes, get turned to widows He was stretching shit for shit show Now he riding in a limo I'm the fiddler on the roof I'm sending 50 out the window I used to work at 5 below But now I keep that